Hello everybody, my name is Gather More. Welcome back for another video of Rome 2 Total War. Let's continue the series, boys. I'm gonna end the turn right away. We don't have anything else to do. I'm basically recording this right after the last video I did. So let's just continue right away. Uh, right now we are still at war with the Armenians, of course, and we're about to prepare ourselves for a war in the north. Uh, we're about to attack anybody. Oh, and I was expecting that. I was expecting that. That's why I was sending my aunt over here. She's traversing right here from here to here. I think or here to here. I'm not sure, but she's traversing. So she's going to deal with that. But the Persians are now at war with us. That's great. We got to deal with them. I was kind of expecting that. And since they're one of the big uh, factions, uh, it's going to be rough. Uh, it might be rough, boys. Especially since the Armenians uh, gave me quite a bit of the trouble uh, lately. Non-aggression part with Lustini, definitely they're on the edge of the world anyways. It's like uh, Portuguese or something. I don't want to have to deal with them anyways. So we are good right now. Let's just keep uh, skipping turns. Alright boys, so we got an option right here. We can uh, get some mercenaries and everything. I'm going to do mercenary contract. Why not get more mercenaries and stuff. A child is born. We got a brand new child. Good. Good, uh, that's fantastic. Uh, first thing first though, let's continue to work on our technology. So let's take a look at our brand new child right here. Which line is it on? It's from me. So it's never, my brother hasn't, uh, doesn't have a single child yet on his line. So he doesn't have anything legitimate for him uh, to go upon, I guess. That's quite interesting, not gonna lie. What about um, the other ones? Okay, so nothing at all right here. Uh, we gotta, we gotta purge this shit right here. We gotta purge this. We don't want that to be a thing. We don't want them to have any sort of influence whatsoever. Okay, so that's good. Uh, next up, all my, all my territories are good. Uh, let me just send over my aunt really quick. She's gonna have to deal with this whole thing that's going on, I guess, against the par uh, Parsians right here. They've got a lot of territory, as you can see. A lot of stuff to cover. I'm already dealing with the goddamn Armenians over here. If I didn't have to deal with them, that would be kind of uh, fun, you know. So there we go. I'm just going to attack them. I'm going to finish this up. Boom, just like that. It's 99%. Let's uh, go ahead. There we go. And take their territories. We're going to uh, modify all of this. So what do we want right here? I think we definitely we want that. Uh, that thing right here. Now we got a little bit of bonuses right here for my general. We're just going to do this. And for the other general, we're going to do uh, this right here. There we go, boys. So uh, that now that, it, that is complete, we also have some bonuses, some upgrades uh, for my units. Let me uh, do that. Upgrade every single of my, my units. There we go. So that's done. We got one of their territories now. They still have a couple more. I don't know if they're, they have territories over here. I don't think so. Uh, they seem like they do, probably. They probably do have some more territories right below. So it's going to be a large war against the Armenians. They're a pretty large faction. So I w we're basically at war with two large factions here. Not too good, boys. Not too good. All right. Next up. We are about to declare war to these guys. I'm going to send... There we go. My queen over here. Just really quick to support. She's going to be the support right here. And we're going to attack the Gallic right here. Declare war. They're not, uh, uh, they're, they don't have any allies, so we're just going to declare war to them real quick. Finish them, uh, them off uh, real fast. Let's just do that really quick. There we go. Finish them off real fast, boys. Take their territories. And just like that, I don't know. It seems like they might have another territory or something. I mean, they don't seem like they have another territory. Maybe they just have a, a, a another uh, place or uh, maybe they just have another army that's hiding somewhere. That's probably what's going on. All right, so that's that's good enough. We got uh, everything done right here. We got a brand new city. Uh, I guess now all we have to do is invade this place, uh, this uh, this one right here, the uh, city. We gotta we gotta invade them in order to get their thing. And uh, I think that's good on that side. Yeah, we're pretty all right. So the Anartes, they're still yeah, they're still there. I guess they're still a thing. They're probably gonna try and attack me. Uh, if, uh, if I'm beyond honest, they're probably going to try and attack me or get destroyed quite easily. Usually that's what happens. So yeah, Armenia is actually, that's all their entire territory. They probably have three or four cities left. And Parsha is super strong. So two big factions at war with me. That's going to be a problem, boys. It's going to be a problem. 
Gonna have to deal with it, but uh, it's gonna be rough. So, trying to convince uh, once again, like usual, uh, convince uh, this girl to join in. She doesn't want to join in. That's fine. That's just our thing, I guess. Eventually, man. Eventually, it will happen. Macedonia. I kind of want to convince somebody to join my war right now because this is uh, this is a bit ridiculous. I mean, I, I, I'm at war with a big faction right now. Media, Atropone. I could convince Rome to go at war with them or I like the, the these guys. Military alliance with Macedonia. Come on, man. You know you want to You know you want to join in. Oh, military alliance. They do want to join in. All right, good. We are now military allied with, the, uh, with Macedonia, boys. I want them to attack the Armenians. So attack the Armenians. Go ahead and take this. Take this. Now... They're not at war with the Armenians, but I'm going to ask them to be at war with them. So, uh, whoa, 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 no, no, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. Macedonia, how about you join my war against Armenia? Join my war against Armenia. I'm, I'll keep uh, giving you money. I'll keep giving you money, buddy. There we go. Keep giving you money uh, until you accept. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Continue to... Uh, there we go. They accepted. All right, good. So, uh, they're now at war. Macedonia joined my war against Armenia. They're already at war with Rome, though. So, Macedonia is at war with Rome? Why? Because of Iperus? Oh, defensive allies with Iperus. Okay. That's quite interesting. Macedonia is at war with Rome, boys. Well, they're also at war with uh, Adrian. So, that's quite interesting. I'm doing both ways. So, I can't be really friendly with Rome anymore. Because Macedonia is at war with them. I want to support Macedonia as much as possible. Okay, so these guys right here. I'm actually going to try and be friendly to them as well. Because I want to be... I want them to possibly attack these guys as well. So, there we go. Just like that. I try to be friendly at first. And uh, eventually, we're going to create a big coalition against the Armenians right now. I need, uh, I need uh, help big time. Once again, Armenia wants to make peace with me, but uh, there's only one way to make peace. You gotta be my satrapy, my guy. And they don't want to, so I'm, I'm gonna reject. I'm gonna reject. There's no way I'm. There's no way I'm making peace with you if you don't want to be my satrapy. That's just how it goes. All right, so now it's time to focus on our mar martial priorities. We want to focus on infantry, cavalry, or navy. I'm always gonna go for infantry first, boys. Trade agreements, research. Allies confirmed the target. Good. So uh, the Macedonians are going to start working on targeting the Armenians. So that's fantastic. That's, ex that's exactly what I wanted. Let's uh, uncover this. We're going to uncover the other territory that's right here as well. All right. All right, boys. Everything's going well for us. Next up, we uh, continue to work on our research over here. So I saw them. That's their last remaining armies right here. That's that's their king. Their leader king is the has the last remaining army for uh, for this guy, so uh, I kind of want to send over. Well, I need to send over my queen to deal with this shit. Uh, I'm gonna send him over. We also have the general who is upgraded, so we're gonna upgrade him really quick. And uh, yeah, let's send over my queen now. I probably gotta send him more, uh, send over uh, or over like this. Uh, we're gonna trespass this territory, but that's fine. I, I need to go there. Uh, next up, while we're at it, while we're trespassing, we might as well attack them as uh, while we're at it as well. So, yeah, we might we might as well do it, boys. So, let's just go ahead and do uh, go there. There we go, trespassing even further. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and go just there we go, just go as quick as possible towards that direction. Uh, that's gonna be our next war once we're done with these guys. Uh, they're probably gonna try and attack us first, boys, but um, doesn't matter. There you go. We got uh, this, this, and that. I think everybody, every, I think every city is good uh, right now. So we are good to go. Still moving on, my queen. It's gonna take a while for her to mobilize. Let's just send her over. Send her over right here. There we go. She's finally on land. It's gonna take a while, really, to mobilize to get um, for a large territory like ours to get through there. It's really gonna take a while, boys. All right. So next up, what do we got here? We've got the Armenians having like uh, a, a small, a very small army right here. Mo I, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to focus on all their territories they've got. So I, I'm just going to go around right here. 
probably should... Well, I need to go all the way around. I can't, yeah, I can't do anything else uh, aside from going all the way around. So, we're going to move around, boys, with this general right here. He's trespassing right now, but I don't have a choice, buddy. I'm sorry about that. I don't have a choice. Uh, what about uh, the rest right here? So, my my family, what uh, what's going on with them? They don't have, they can't do anything right now. So, just got to keep it moving. These guys got to purge them. All right, so let's just get a payment really quick. There we go. No, they they don't want to pay. Okay, so sure they're they're friendly with me, but for some reason they don't want to get a trade agreement. I don't know why, boys. So, all right, so this is still a thing. It's gonna take a while probably for the Macedonians to get there as well. They gotta get through multiple targets and all. Uh, let me just I don't know what to do here. I mean, I can't ask them to go against these guys. No, I can't ask them that. So. What I want to do, obviously, I'm going to keep giving them I money because I want them to be able to do stuff, to probably. Like, uh, actually buy a, fight them up and all. So, in order to do that, uh, I really need them to focus uh, a lot uh, on what they're doing. So, just keep we giving them money so they're uh, really good at what they're doing. They uh, they can deal with the additions and everything. Uh, I'll keep asking... No, no, no. Not client state, but I'll keep asking for confederation with this girl eventually it's gonna come by there we go give her continue to give her money and uh, next stop still at war with Persia now I'm trying to be friendly with these guys because the main thing is they're both neighbors to Armenia and Persia so I can ask them to basically uh, join my war for both of them so that's what I'm gonna try and do I'm gonna try and be very friendly with them okay uh, they're not friendly, too friendly to me right now, but, you know, I'm trying my best right here, buddy. Oh, shit. Just press the X by accident. Let's go. Give them all the money in the world. There we go. I mean, you better be friendly with me. Come on now. Be super friendly with me. Military access and everything. Okay, so I still got some money left, which I'm going to send over to... I can't send them over to Roman, uh, the Romans. Uh, uh Adding's does you need a bit of money right now uh, so we're gonna finance them a little bit so they can actually deal with the romans a little bit all right so help out uh anybody that's with the macedonians as much as possible so let's keep uh let's keep it going again boys not a lot that's gonna happen feel like i might want to do a longer videos from now on just for rome just for this series itself just because uh, otherwise, there's nothing that's ever going to happen. So if we want something to happen, uh, we might as well do longer videos like one hour videos or something. We're finally in the next turn. Let's go ahead and do our fair. Another war has been declared between the Subi, uh, Swebi or, and the Nori. That doesn't bother us at all because it doesn't mean anything to us. It doesn't have anything to do with us. So we're, we're good. Let's uh, continue. So our research is done on that side. Let's go on the other side now. They got that army uh, right close to my city, but it's a really small army. I really don't want to have to to deal with that. So let's just keep going right here. Keep going right here, boys. Follow the road. And next turn, we're going to be able to attack with my general. Attack another city from theirs. So we're going to be able to do that. And uh, next thing right here, we're still sending over my armies. Let's, uh, let's uh, see real quick. Oh, we I need to convert this one. There we go. Uh, this one is still dying, so I, I still gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, still gonna send my uh, my king over here to deal with them, and my queen, while she's at it, what she's gonna do? She's gonna attack these guys right here. We're gonna attack these guys, boys, and uh, conquer this uh, little place right here. That's what we're gonna do. So, declare war real quick. Uh, I am not gonna ask Macedonia to join in. Don't need uh, their help right now. Uh, we can uh, just simply attack them, finish them off as quick as possible. Conquer them. There we go. Increase in rank. Now, they probably they didn't get destroyed. So, the same thing as the other one. They probably have uh, an army, random army hiding or something. Let's, uh, let's just uh, ignore that for now. So, we got Petrova, boys. Petrova is now ours. So, we're expanding quite a bit right now. We're basically like the... Uh, the the Huns or something like that. We're basically Attila at this point. We're invading everything that we see. All right, so we got this. This this region right here uncovered. There we go. We got these guys. 
What about uh, over here? Continue to un uncover more stuff. There we go. We got a new faction uh, uncovered. And I think everybody's got uncovered right here. So let's just go... Let's go back uh, towards here. On that region right here. Alright, good. Uh, this this army right here, my uh, ant's army, before I do anything, we got a, a, a new upgrade, it looks like, right here. We are going to go ahead and do a nomadic cultural things. There we go. And send you over over here. There we go. I don't know which, which city I'm going to go for. I should probably go from right to left, so it's going to really take a while. I go, only have my ant going towards there, so... It's going to be rough, boys, but uh, we'll be able to do something eventually. Right, let's uh, let's take a look around into my faction. My faction tree. What do we have? Royal tree. We have some couple of stuff we can equip from them. Good. Uh, next up. Any, uh, anything else at all? There's literally nothing. Uh, oh, uh, hold on. There's some gravitas for my wife. There we go. She's got some gravitas. She can upgrade herself to get some promotions and stuff. Good. So that's really good. And we can actually educate or declare heir or adopt. Oh, no. So we can just declare heir uh, to somebody. But we're good on that part. Yeah, we are We are good, boys. We're good to go. What about these guys? Can we, can we do anything with them? Not really. All right. So we're just going to keep it moving then. Uh, next up. All right. So let's just continue to do our thing. Um, still, they are, uh, the Macedonians are still focusing on Armenia right here. What I want them to do is, I, I want them to, uh, I want these guys to join me eventually, man, come on. I mean, you're seven, you're almost at 800 of likeness. At some point, you gotta, you gotta accept my stuff, you know? You gotta be friendly with me or you gotta be something, you know? It's kind of getting ridiculous at some point. What about you? Make client state? I could literally make them client state, but uh, I, I won't make that just yet. I, I want to keep them, uh, unless they want to, they, they, don't, they don't want to, yeah. So let's just give them money, boys, give them the money they need in order to do their camp joyous. campaign. What about Media, uh, Media Atropode? I'm gonna try and be friendly with them, boys. Military access for both of us. Just give you money, buddy. There we go. How, mu how, what, how much does he need? How much money does he need, buddy? You're like, come on now. Be super friendly to me. Trying to be friendly here. Military access. You don't want military access or anything? My god, come on now. Uh, join the war against... Uh, oh, shit. No, 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 no. Join the war against uh, against Armenia, please. Join the war. Alright, so join the war and I'll give you some money uh, as well. While, re while you're at it. Man, he doesn't want to. It's going to take a while to convince these guys to join any war. To do anything at all. It's gonna take a while, boys. Uh, Addings, we're just gonna give them the rest the of the money, I guess. Military alliance with add Addings as well. While we're at it, because why not? Together. Hold on. Give them the money. There we go. Why not? Military alliance, uh, alliance with them as well. Uh, while we're at it. And uh, that's good to go. We're good to go, boys. So let's just uh, continue to skip turns uh, until we can actually do an assault or something. All right, let's see what we got. A couple of our generals got uh, bonuses and stuff. We got a big feast going on as well. Uh, very good. We've got uh, a couple of stuff as well. So let's keep uh, doing um, working on our strategies and stuff. Uh, all of our uh, regions, I'm going to keep looking to see if I need to upgrade anything. I do. Let's upgrade that. Uh, anything else? Oh, we do have some upgrades right here. Hold on. Uh, we have some upgrades right here. So... Let's uh, do that, and we're actually going to do food. There we go. Over here, Caucasia, nothing, but here we got something. All right, good. Since we took Petrova, their uh, last remaining army over is over here. I think I can destroy them. Yeah, I can probably destroy them. I, f I can get to there. So uh, we're going to keep working on that. There we go. Keep working on that. Attack them. Attack the Bastardy boys. We should be able to destroy them pretty easily right here. Yep. Finish that faction off. So that faction is done for. Oh, it's not even destroyed yet. They still got another army or something. But I guess they got another army, boys. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I thought um, I thought they didn't have another army. Oh, well. Let's keep uh, upgrading. We got another upgrade for my general. My, ki uh, my king right here? Or is it my queen? Oh, that's my queen. All right. Well, uh, let's, this guy right here, my king. 
It's actually gonna assault uh, the last remaining army, the other king right here. Just gonna upgrade this. Let's keep assaulting you, buddy. That's a big battle right there, boys. That is a big battle. Yeah, almost 6k soldiers. We got uh, we got less than 5k, but we got 95%. So we're just gonna do the battle. Boom, out of resolve. Anarchies has been destroyed. So that faction is dealt with once and for all. We can head back now. We can actually head back with that uh, with my king our, our king's army. Can head back and actually uh, focus on the war effort that we were trying to do in the first place. Uh, wh what about the other place? I uh, know everybody uh, is good. We already took a look at that. So what we want to do now is actually assault this place with my general that's here as well so let's attack um this place that's another big uh another big one that's another big one right here it is all right so we are going to do the assault for this one uh let's siege it up let's siege it up boys and uh, wait for it really quick before i do i go to the assault my queen uh, she's uh, not my queen but uh, my aunt she's gonna keep moving she's gotta keep moving eventually she's gonna come by she's gonna be able to to get to Bukhara and stuff. The Parsians are going to take a while to to take care of. Uh, this guy right here. You're going to just continue to uh, uncover more stuff I guess. There we go. They've got another city right here. The Parsians. It just, we just uncovered one, another one of, their, uh, of theirs. So uh, over here. We've pretty much uncovered everything there was to uncover. So what we got to do here is uh, we should... We could go uh, try and go for uh, uncover this like all of this right here like we haven't uncovered Turkey yet or we could try and uncover uh, Europe which I, I think is what I'm gonna try and do first I'm gonna I'm gonna go for Europe first with this one so I'm not trespassing I don't know what you're talking about but uh, all right so that is good or uh, do we have what's uh, what's going on with our faction right here nothing's going on with our faction we can't do anything boys They've got some influence. Let's just purge them up uh, really quick. Purge that influence up big time. We don't want that to be a thing. Four turns. There's probably going to be a civil war. I'm not going to lie, boys. At this point in time, uh, it's very likely, highly likely that uh, a civil war is going to happen between my uh, empire. Because, I mean, I'm too strong right now. Too strong. Uh, too big of an empire. Too large. And there's not a lot I can actually do right here. Uh, first things first, we're going to continue to try and uh, convince this goddamn girl, woman, to uh, to join me. Fuck, man. She doesn't want to join me. She's stubborn as hell. She is super stubborn. I don't want to go at war with her, boys. It's a waste of time. Goddamn. She really doesn't want to join me. And we are the royal citizens after all. So we should, like, literally be here. This is... Our country, original country, we got forced to be down here. There's no reason as to why she uh, she should be doing this right now. Celtic uh, confederations. It seems like um, Macedonia's doing pretty well. Romans, I don't know how well they're doing. Seems like they're kind of getting destroyed. I don't know. Seems like they're uh, starting to lose territories and stuff, Greetings, which is what happens when I'm not actually I helping them out. But I mean, I'm helping their enemies right now i'm helping uh macedonians out so make client state not gonna happen just yet let's just keep giving them money so that they can uh build armies and stuff i don't know if they're actually sending an army over here or not i doubt they are but uh hopefully they are doing uh their best there to help me right here uh, so next thing uh, I want to do is just do the battle. We're going to start the battle up right here, boys. Uh, do it. So let's go uh, jump into it right here. All right, you guys already know. We're about to start the deployment right here. Start going into it uh, against... Now, they've got walls and everything. So that's going to be complicated a little bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the siege. Drop the siege for everyone that's got, uh, that's got a, uh, a siege unit or, or whatever. I don't, I'm not going to need these ladders. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Obviously the grenades, right? You guys can't forget about the fact that I've got grenades and everything. So uh, grenades are going to do the job for me. I don't need anything else uh, really uh, right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say, there we go. Just going to send them over like that. 
that's gonna do the trick just do a, a group really quick uh and the rest right here it's all gonna be a group and they're all gonna be they're gonna sit here i guess right now at least they're gonna sit here uh, they're gonna be a group and my general is gonna be a group in in of itself He's gonna just be behind stick behind uh, Really quick. So let's start it up first thing. We're gonna do we are gonna do explosive shot and Just watch him do his thing boys. Just watch him do his thing. He's gonna destroy the walls real quick There we go. Just watch him do his thing really quick He's gonna destroy the walls and Boom! Walls have been destroyed, boys. Alright, so now it's time. It's time to go in. Walls have been destroyed and we can send my uh, my uh, military units in right now. So let's send them in real quick. We can just do our thing. That was super easy. It's as easy as that. They don't have any walls anymore. We're just destroying them. Look at that. All their war uh, walls are being destroyed right now. Let's go, boys. Alright, so uh, all of them... You can now uh, go here, move up, yeah, move up right here. You're going to be fine. And general, same thing kind of. It's lagging a little bit because of uh, the whole explosive thing, but that's fine. Let's uh, move you up a little bit. Inspire some people. There we go. Inspire them. Good, good, good. Keep moving. Keep moving, boys. I don't know where these are. Uh... Okay, so yeah, these are melee units. All right, good, good, good. Keep moving, boys. Keep attacking right here. There we go. We we'll keep attacking with a bunch of uh, uh, of stuff right here. Now I do. I gotta tell you, boys. This is just a small army. This is what they've got inside the walls, right? But they've got over ten thousand foot soldiers and reinforcements. So this is the big battle that's gonna happen. Basically, they've got a lot of reinforcements right here. So uh, my grenades are really going to be helpful right here. What is this guy doing? Saudis? Some of these guys are just moving on out of nowhere. All right, go, 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 boys. You guys are taking your sweet time to move on. There we go. Do, just do explosive shots once again. Boom, there we go. And we're going to continue to do that so we can destroy um, the enemies a little bit quicker uh, right here. And uh, this guy right here, he's going to do explosive shots as well. I want him to do uh, precision shots, all of this, all of these bonuses. And he's going to attack like all of these guys. I mean, he's going to attack the armies. I don't want him to attack the walls because it's going to just make the game break entirely. Uh, we just want him to assault the other ones. So you guys are good. Between all the fire arrows and the explosive shots... They're dying quite easily right here. All right, boys. So we're back into the fight. We're still. Uh, I'm still fighting it off right now. I I took a bit of a pause from uh, commenting because it's ba basically a lot of the same right now. There's not a lot of uh, different stuff happening. We're just trying to assault. We're breaching the gate right now, uh, trying to attack them. But uh, there's so many of them that it's kind of overwhelming a little bit. It's literally overwhelming a little bit, boys. So. Uh, we just gotta do our thing, continue assault as much as possible over here to just continue to uh, attack them as much as possible. They've got a lot of reinforcements coming in from here. There are huge armies coming in from here, boys, so it's gonna be rough. So we need to, we need to chill the fuck out. First off, what we need to do is go back here. We need to destroy their armies because they're mobilizing right now. They're, they're coming by and I don't like the feel of it at all so we're the first thing we're gonna do we're just gonna mobilize back and we're gonna run back run backwards boys all together uh same thing for goes for my general like he finally managed to deal with that uh sort of uh, that bullshit that was going on uh what about my military units right here all right they're good i mean there's no walls left but <sighs> there's literally reinforcements coming by right here so we need to send uh my melee units right here we need to send them back. Yes, I know the walls have been breached. I don't care about that. I really don't care about that. Move backwards. All right, so we're just going to move backwards, boys. And we're going to let the game go uh, full speed right here. So that I can actually mobilize properly right here. Because this is getting destroyed. Look at the walls. They keep getting destroyed by my explosive arrows and stuff. 
They keep getting destroyed, boys. They don't have any walls left. But the thing is, I can't... Like, I need to focus on the reinforcements right now. The reinforcements are coming by, so... It's a big, tough battle. It's a beautiful map, though. But a huge battle that's going on right now. So I can't be uh, focusing on that at all. Alright, go guys, you can't be focusing on that goddamn fight right now. What the hell are you all doing? Alright, so I don't want you guys... <laughs> All of you right here, I don't want you to be flaming arrows. I want you to actually have a heavy shot. And you just go ahead and have a simple shot. Heavy shot as well. Yeah, heavy shot. Right? I want everybody to have a, like a, a, either an explosive shot, a, a normal shot or, or a heavy shot. Except for my two archers right here that they're dealing with the, uh, that stuff. So, yeah, heavy shot would be better for me right now. Because right now it's just really ridiculous. Alright, my army is finally here. Cleanser. Yeah, everybody's finally mobilized, boys. So we can finally, like, we got a wall going on, finally. Shit's ridiculous. You can see all the explosive arrows going from places to players, uh, place. Uh, this guy can start uh, getting a heavy shot again. Uh, get quick reload, precision shot, everything. And uh, you, buddy, continue to do your thing. Continue to assault over here. Do explosive shots uh, while you're at it. It's gonna help out. Alright boys, we're doing the final assault. We're starting to attack them as you can see. There's gonna be a lot of explosives going on right here. Let's uh, go front end on it, boys. Let's go front end on the battle right here. You can see all the explosions right here. Uh, we're, we're assaulting them big time. And all of them behind. Look at that charge. Look at that glorious charge. A final charge for this city, boys. The final charge. Look at the explosions. Oh my god. Look at the explosions. Holy shit. That shit is crazy. Front hand seat, boys. Alright, we got the final assault for real this time. These are, the, these are the guys that are left, boys. They're basically all that's left right now. So go ahead. Attack them, everybody. Attack them, everybody. Go, go, go. Charge on them. Uh, there's more people here. My general's gonna take care of these guys, of these bad boys. That was a massive fight. It took literally super long. It took like 30 minutes. Talk about a big fight right here. As you can see the beautiful scenery and, and, and all. Yeah, this is, uh, that was a huge fight right here. What are the casualties? Woo, no casualties on our hand, of course. So that's very surprising because my general was having a bit of a tough time, but... 9k loss right there. Almost 10k loss, boys, for them. Armenians just lost everything right there. Alrighty then, boys. We uh, just defeated 10,000 soldiers, just like that. And uh, that was a brilliant battle. Brilliant battle right there. Uh, that's going to be a stuff of legends right there, boys. Literally. The battle for Armavir. Literally a stuff for legends. Like one of the biggest battle I've ever seen in my life. That's uh, that's something else. That is for sure. They still got an army left. Uh, one captain left, I guess, or something. Uh, they probably got more armies up their ass. Uh, up their ass. But uh, imagine, they had ten thousand soldiers right there waiting for us. Imagine what they have uh, elsewhere. That's that, that's really becoming like next level at this point. It really is. It's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie, boys. So we got that done, that big assault done. Uh, this is, uh, this has been interesting for sure. It's really been interesting. I gotta keep moving right here. Gotta keep attacking. We got uh, this and this going on. Uh, eventually we gotta take care of this. This is the middle, uh, right in the middle of my goddamn empire. So it's kind of in my way right now. But uh, yeah, that is something, isn't it? That is definitely something. I'm going to ask the Ma Macedonians to actually focus on this now. Because I'm going to take care of this. Uh, I don't think they can get there. That's the problem. They probably can't get there. They probably can actually. If they uh, if they just simply take their boat and go all the way here. March here. But it's going to take them forever. So I, I kind of get it that they probably can't uh, get to a certain direction. But you know it's fine. Um these guys are friendly. Wh who else do I want to send the last of my money to? Probably these guys. Uh, Iperus. 
They're kind of friendly to me, not gonna lie. They're friendly to me and uh, I'm kind of willing to give you money just to combat the, the Romans, right? Combat the Romans, get some money out of that. There we go. There we go. Uh, just do your thing, buddy. And um, these guys, I still need to convince them to like eventually join a war or something, do something. So I'll, I'll give them money. I'll give them money for sure. And uh, I'll uh, still gonna ask them to join my war against Armenia. No, still low. What about the Parsians? Uh, Parsha. Not very low. All right, so they it's not like they want a military alliance. Oh, military access? Almost. So almost military access, boys. But uh, let's just give them money for now. Just keep working on diplomacy with them. Uh, we're gonna skip one more turn right here. We're gonna keep it moving. Since I did transition quite a lot for uh, during the battle and stuff. Gotta keep it moving a little bit. One more turn and afterwards we'll call it quits. Uh, this was a huge battle right there. And uh, it's kind of took a, a, a toll on me. We got a bit of a situation right here. The uh, Celtic Confederation declared war on Macedonia. Since we are uh, literally allied to the Macedonians. We are going to... Uh, we are gonna protect them. We're gonna protect the Macedonians, boys. So we're gonna enter war against the Celtic Confederation as well. There we go. So we're not at war with them, with these guys right here. Uh, we're gonna let the Macedonians deal with it. I'm actually gonna tell them to focus on uh, the war effort on them. Now that I think about it, they should probably do that. So I'm gonna ask them to do that. So uh, I'm gonna help them as much as possible, boys. I'm not gonna let Macedonians, Macedonians die. All right, Arf Keeper. I don't know what this is. Let's uh, let's see what this is. So this woman has proven herself quite capable of organizing labor in her, in her family's large household. She is a stern but effective and their farms are prospering. We could implore her to help plan our agriculture, agricultural developments. Uh, alternatively, we could delegate that issue to the clan leaders and perhaps gain their favor. Uh, let's hire her. Let's hire her, boys. We're going to uh, get her. We got a brand new child. Military sab uh, savaging and stuff like that. Okay, we got this that we need to upgrade this uh, place right here. So let's upgrade it. But what about uh, yeah, this city as well? We need to upgrade it. All right. So my army right here. First thing we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna send them over here. And uh, I'm pretty sure I can take uh, take care of that uh, yeah that city as well. Yeah, let's take care of them. They probably don't have as many forces. They still have 3k uh, defending that one place though. That was a quite interesting one. Uh, let's uh, convert these ones. There we go. And uh, we still, we're still pretty good. Yeah, let me convert everybody right here. Retrain everybody that's in here. So yeah, I'm gonna keep sending my army up north uh, for the queen at least. And uh, we're gonna make her march so she goes a bit faster there. There we go. Uh, next, fill, uh, next up is my king's army. Now my king's army, same thing, he, he's got some upgrades for his units. Let me just upgrade them really quick. Let's go back to our actual royal family tree. See if we can't uh, give a, a couple of bonuses to all my people and also uh, see if we can't do anything. So yeah, I've got, um, it's it's only my actual king that's getting a bunch of, uh, of children. So that's quite interesting in itself. Uh, we got, uh, we're going to purge them up really quick. There we go, just purge these guys up. Uh, big time. I don't want them to have anything at all. Uh, anybody right here that we can do. Can't, like, we can't uh, convince anybody to join us or anything. So there's not a lot we can do. Uh, if we go to diplomacy really quick before doing anything else. Uh, I think Armenia, yeah, it's their last territory that they've got uh, left. Literally. So I think that's the only thing they've got left. So we're, we're going to be able to finish them off. Uh, are we only at war with these two yeah i just looked it up and we are at well we're at war with three people yeah so we are at war with the armenians the celtics and the persians that's pretty much it we're not at we basically finished up our wars against uh the two other factions we declared upon last time so we're good now uh on that side I of the front to uh we're gonna do yeah trade agreement with pergamon right with here that's grace. perfect Iperus still got that. They probably could attack Rome if they wanted to. Uh, I'm just going to give money to Iperus, I guess. Uh, uh, just May give them uh, a, a big time money so they can 
uh, do something against Rome, I guess. There we go. And uh, military alliance with them. Yeah, why not, I guess. We're all in the same alliance, right? No, I don't want to be allied with um, the Iperus because I don't know how this is going to uh, go, really. So I'm just going to let them do their thing for now. I'm just going to give them money. And that's all I'm going to do with them for now, boys. So everybody's brainstormed out. So, yeah, since I've already told the Macedonians to take care of uh, of this whole uh, thing that's going on, they're, they're, they're going to be able to do it. They've got a whole army, a whole ass army right there. So I'm pretty sure they can take care of themselves. Uh, so just take care of that, buddy, and you'll be fine, all right? I don't want to have to deal with that myself. So uh, I'm just going to go do my own thing and go back towards the north right here. Uh, with my king's army so we can actually deal with uh this right here whatever is going on over here so i'm gonna leave it for right uh, for today boys we expanded quite a lot we had a huge battle over armavir a battle to be remembered that's for sure uh remember to leave a like and subscribe to the video i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy